Welcome to our service. Today we'll be retelling the Christmas story. Dear God, we thank you for the chance to remember and celebrate the birth of Jesus. As we journey through this story, we ask that you show us once again why this is one of the most important stories we could ever know. Amen. The Nativity story is full of journeys from Mary and Joseph traveling to Bethlehem to the wise men following a star. In today's Nativity, it is all about the greatest journey ever. We'll be retelling the Christmas story and we'll be going on a Christmas journey together. Please join us, the Calgary Martoma Sunday School children, as we present the greatest journey ever. Okay, are we ready for our story to begin? Now, before we do anything else, because we're going on an adventure, I need to put on my walking boots. Do you want to put on your walking boots too? Go on then. In this story, there are four special journeys that happened over 2,000 years ago. Mary and Joseph, the wise men, and even the shepherds all traveled a long way to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Today, we're going to follow in their footsteps and travel these journeys too. Right, let's go! There was a couple called Joseph and Mary. They went on a journey all the way to Bethlehem. We are going on a journey. It's going to be a big one. All the way to Bethlehem. Because Caesars want to count us. Uh-oh! Romans! Tall, scary Romans. We can't jump over them. We can't crawl under one. We... Oh no! We'll have to walk between them! Steppity step, walkity walk, steppity step. They went to get her on their journey. Soon they were going to marry. And they are going to be a family because Mary was having a baby. The time came to have the baby. But where could Joseph and Mary stay? We are going on a journey. It is going to be a big one. Got to find a place to stay because Mary is having a baby. Uh-oh, no bed, no big bouncy bed. We can't stay in the hotel. We can't stay in the spare room. Oh no, we'll have to sleep with animals. E-R woof, E-R bear, E-R ne. There was no room for them in the inn. So Mary wrapped the baby in strips of cloth and found a manger to lay him in. An angel appeared to some shepherds. It happened in a field nearby. The angels told them about the baby. So they went to see with their own eyes. We are going on a journey. It's going to be a big one. An angel came to see us, told us of a savior. So we're going to welcome him. We'll find him in a manger. Uh-oh, she poo. Smelly, stinky poo. We can't fly over it. We can't tiptoe around it. Oh no, we'll have to tread on it. Tread, squelch, tread, squelch, tread, squelch. They rushed off to find the baby and everyone was amazed. It was just as the angel said and they gave God their praise. Some wise men had seen the star in the sky and knew a king was to be born. So they followed the society star and went to worship and adore. We're going on a journey. It's going to be a big one. Following the society star to worship the baby king, we've got loads of presents. Gold, Mia, and Fixin! Uh-oh, King Herod. Mean, nasty King Herod. We can't listen to Herod. We can't say where Jesus is. Oh, no. We'll have to leave another way. Humpity hump, cloppity clop, humpity hump. They found him and were filled with joy. The wise men were so happy. So they were careful not to tell King Herod and they traveled home a different way. It's been a long journey for Mary and Joseph. It's been a long journey for the shepherds. It's been a long journey for the wise men. We've gone on a journey. But we're glad we did so. 
we met someone special. But who was it? Big brown eyes and big cheeks, ten tiny toes on two tiny feet. Why, it's Jesus! Quick, tell everyone, go home on another way. Gumpity hump, cloppity clop, humpity hump. Back through the sheep poo, tread squelch, tread squelch, tread squelch. Saying so long to the animals. Ea woof, ea ba, ea nay. Mind the Romans. Steppity step, walkity walk, steppity step. And finally, we're home. You know, Jesus went on a journey. It really was the biggest one. All the way from heaven, because he came to save us. He came to live on earth with us. Because he loves us very much. He was a child and had to learn things just as we do. Only he never did anything wrong. When he grew up, he did amazing things. He did many miracles and taught the people about God. He even brought people back from the dead. Only God can do that. And then he was put to death on a cross. He did it because he loved us and to save us from our sins. But he didn't stay dead. Now Jesus is alive again. His story hasn't ended. Jesus came on a journey. It really is the greatest one. Thank you everybody for coming to today's service. I really hope you enjoyed following in the footsteps of the greatest journey ever. Now I would like to say a closing prayer. Dear God, thank you that you've sent your son on a journey from heaven to earth to show your love for us so that we could be friends with you. Thank you that his message of hope, joy, and peace is for all people. We pray that you will help people to know your hope, joy, and peace this Christmas, particularly those in need. Amen.